If you'd like to make your NFL games a little more interesting, you've come to the right place. It's the Even Money Podcast with Ross Tucker and Steve Fezzik. Yeah, Vegas, baby, Vegas. It is the Even Money Podcast presented by DraftKings Sportsbook app. And I'm going nuts right now. Number one, Steve and I had another good week. I'm getting close to being back in black, and Steve is just absolutely killing it. Number two, we got a crazy amount of news happening while we're doing the show. I thought I had my bets, but the lines are changing with the Chris Jones news. The Browns have like eight guys on COVID. COVID's going crazy this week, which is greatly affecting things. We'll get into that momentarily. Of course, I want to make sure you know I'm Ross Tucker, former NFL offensive lineman, five teams, seven years, bunch of podcasts, Fantasy Feast, if you like fantasy stuff, College Draft, where Emory Hunt has been awesome, betting college games against the spread. He was all over the bowl games on today's College Draft podcast. And then the Ross Tucker Football Podcast is where I keep you up to date. Everything you need to know in the NFL, all of our shows, 30 minutes or less, average workout time. Average commute time right there for you. I'm at Ross Tucker NFL on social. We are at Ross Tucker Pod. He is the star, the only two time winner of the super contest. He is on fire this year at Fezic Sports. Hello, Steve. Hello, Ross. How are you this morning? Doing great, except no buys. So we got a lot of games to get to, and we got a lot of information to try to digest. So let's dive right in to last week. We got off to a bad start, uh, or I got off to a bad start with the Steelers getting three points, two units. They end up losing by eight. Valiant comeback, but they did not cover. Then we get to Ravens-Browns. We had nothing. Uh, Washington, oh, I take that back because the we always have the uh, teasers over to the right. All three teasers won again, Steve. We were 5-0 and on our best bets. For the week, I was up four units. You were up 11 units. For the year, I am down two units. You are up 33 units for the year, Steve. Killing it. Back-to-back weeks where all of our teasers came through. Thank goodness. Ravens plus eight, Broncos minus two, uh, and Seahawks minus one. Seahawks and Broncos were favored. They blew out the bad teams they were playing, and the Ravens. Tyler Huntley gave us that backdoor cover, Steve. It was a beautiful thing. Never in doubt. Heck, they should have won outright. All right. Maybe a little fortunate with the comeback. Not good for Cleveland that they let Baltimore back into that game. Not good. No, I mean, they didn't score once in the second half. Even without Lamar Jackson, they let him back into the game. Cowboys-Washington was a disappointing loser as Washington was getting three and a half. I had two units on them. They lost 27-20. Unbelievable, by the way, that I took both Pittsburgh and Washington. You just leaned for both. So I lose the units. You don't lose any. Raiders-Chiefs, I leaned Raiders. Wow. The Raiders just, they should not play the Chiefs anymore. Too bad they're in the same division. Seahawks, Texans. We already talked about that. We teased the Seahawks down. It was close for a while, but they ultimately covered easily. Jags, Titans, we both leaned to laying the points with the Titans at minus nine and a half. That came through. Then we get to another best bet. Falcons, Panthers. We like the Falcons getting three. Steve, they won outright 29-21. Yes, so that line was three, went down to two and a half. The sharp money was on Atlanta. I think it's more anti-Carolina. Carolina does not get a bump with the new OC. They're in trouble the rest of the year. Yes, they are. Uh, we are never in trouble when it comes to our hair because of keeps. I love keeps. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. I am included. I'll show you my bald spot right here. Guess what? Though, If you're watching on YouTube, youtube.com slash Ross Tucker NFL, 
guess what? It used to be worse. And it would definitely be worse if I didn't use Keeps. There's only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. I take both. One is a topical solution. You rub it on in the morning and at night. The other one's a pill. Prevention is the key. If you guys, if the only pick you take from me today is to t- take keeps before you think you should, that's, that's, I promise that's a winning bet. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash even money to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K E E P S dot com slash even money to get your first month free. Keeps.com slash even money. All right. Next up, Chargers Giants. I leaned Giants. Thankfully, it was only a lean. They lost 37 21. They are not good. Broncos Lions. That was part of our teaser. Tease them down to minus two. They won by 28. That was easy money. And how about our other best bet, Steve? Five and zero oh on best bets, which is just awesome. We had the Bucks minus three for two units. That might have been a little fortunate, Steve. I mean, at one point, I was just hoping for a push. Then it went to OT. You know, you got you got to call it like it is. The Ravens cover, the Bucks cover. That was that was good fortune. Hey, the Bucks minus three was a good bet. The minus three and a half, okay, you needed a minor miracle at the end, but they were dominating most of the game, and easily the Bucks could have won by three. So as long as you got in at minus three, I think that was a good bet. Well, and on the flip side, I put two units on the Bengals, and they lose 26-23 in OT. They were laying a point. Then for the Packers and the Bears, Wow, I didn't remember this, Steve. You laid a unit with the Packers laying 11 and a half? Easy winner. Dominated the second half. Wow. Then the Rams, I leaned Rams, and they ended up covering. They were getting three points. So, again, for the week, I was up four units. You were up 11. You got every pick right, Steve. You didn't get a single wrong bet last week. You were six for six. If you include all three teasers, which we do. So for the season, you're up 33 units. So even if you don't listen to me at all, listen to Steve. I'm down two units. And then on our best bets, we are now 23, 15, and 1 for a 59% strike rate. Very, very reputable. Very, very good there. I'm very happy. I'm also very happy to talk about overcoming the odds, rewriting the playbook, delivering under pressure. The MVPs of small business lead their teams to victory all year long. Visa is proud to provide playmakers everywhere with more tools to help grow their business, help them achieve even greater success because the more people we can empower, the more we all win. Visa, a network working for everyone. All right, Steve, let's dive into it with what we're doing this week. Now, I feel like we need to talk about this. We're starting with the Chiefs and the Chargers. The Chiefs right now are laying three. When I looked at it earlier, it was four. I looked at it again, it was three and a half. I liked the Chargers at four and three and a half. That was before I saw the Chris Jones news, Steve. Now it's three. Do you think that should change my opinion? Does the half a point get outweighed by no Chris Jones? He's a difference-making player. He's worth half a point, but this isn't, you know, he might be worth three quarters of a point. I'll take that back. Um, But this half point is more important than any normal three quarters of a point. It's worth 20 cents on a line move. You know, I'm with you. I should have given out chargers earlier, plus four. Now that it's three, it's just a lean to the chargers. I'm going to, you know, the chargers are going to win this game. I'm going to feel foolish. If you have to bet it, I, it's still a strong lean Chargers. So let me ask you this. If it hits on three, you you push. So what's the big deal? You know, a lot of people say that. The big deal is you don't win. <laughs> and, and so you lose a unit by not getting to it. And, you know, part of this is just playing well, Ross. I can tell you right now, I used to work with betting syndicates all the time. And if they showed me a ticket... 
that said Chargers plus three and a half, I'd say, good job. You were working Tuesday morning. You saw the news come out. You grabbed the plus three and a half. You did good. If you show me a ticket plus four, you were the first one to get the news. You did great. You show me a ticket plus three, I'd start screaming at you. What am I paying you for? You know, just just smoke dope all day, all night, wake up late, and play the worst number. Thanks for nothing. You're fired. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, all that being said, I'm putting two units on the Chargers <laughs> plus the three. I'm smoking dope. I'm smoking dope all night. I don't know. I, I understand what you're saying, but I don't care if I push. I mean, I'd rather win, but I still think it's not that much of a difference. So two units plus three. Um, what about the Raiders and the Browns? This is the game I'm calling, Steve. If they have the game, sounds like they will. The Browns just put in um, – the Browns just put eight guys on the COVID list, including – Jarvis Landry, two starting offensive linemen. They're starting tight end. They're third D end. This line, I have written down, Steve, from an hour and a half ago, Las Vegas plus six. Las Vegas plus six. Now it's Cleveland minus three. So my friend, Tommy the Hitman, just gave this out to his clients, plus six. All right? I bet plus four and a half because apparently I was smoking dope in the shower this morning and got to the news late. And I'm embarrassed that I only got four and a half. Now it's three. Who knows in terms of how many Browns are going to actually be impacted here. Again, if I had to bet it, I would lean Raiders. You know, that's not even true. At three, I think it's properly priced. It's an easy pass and got to be, you know, it's like the stock market. You get wind of, uh, it's almost like a vice president sends you a little note. Hey, my company's in deep trouble. Now just ignore it and wait for like it to go ahead and get announced on CNBC and and the, and the stock plummets from four and a half to three. And then I want to short it. No, thanks. I'll take the Raiders plus three, two units. Look, I don't think the Browns are very good. And now they're going to be without a bunch of their best players. Although the only thing that gives me pause the Rams didn't have like four of their best 15 players last night and they beat the Cardinals butt. So that gives me a little bit of pause, but I'll go, I'll go Raiders plus the three. For, I think it's a toss up game. My new rule is toss up game plus three or more. I'm taking it. Baker Mayfield's not playing well. He talks about internal issues. What, what is he even talking about? I like Vegas plus three, two units. Saturday night football, it's the Patriots at the Colts. Colts laying two and a half, Steve. Total 45 and a half. So think about this line. Kansas City is the best team in the AFC, and almost everyone agrees New England's the second best team. But the markets don't agree. The markets think Indy is better than New England because home field is only worth two points at most, and they're laying two and a half. Now, part of that, it's baking in the fact that that the Colts need the game like blood and New England doesn't. So and I can go along with that. But the bottom line is these are too close to comparable teams right now. I pass the game. Wow. All that for you then to just pass the game. That was such a lead up for you to pass. Maybe it goes to three. If it goes to three, I'll take New England. So why not do what I'm doing, which is teasing New England up to eight and a half. I considered it. The reason I'm not doing it is there's still a chance the line could go all the way to three. And I hate playing a teaser when I can just grab three. Plus three is better than teasing a two and a half to an eight and a half. Got it. Well, <clears throat> I'm teasing it uh, because I go by what we're doing right here on the show at 2.14 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm teasing the Patriots up to plus eight and a half. I've got four teaser legs. I'm doing my patented round robin teasers. Patriots plus eight and a half. Steelers up to plus eight against the Titans. They're playing at home, coming off a Thursday night game. That's another teaser leg. I've got the Dolphins from minus eight and a half down to minus two and a half against the Jets. They'll win that game. And then the Bengals against the Broncos. I got the Bengals up to plus eight. 
Bengals are a good team. They're going to get eight points from the Denver Broncos. Um, I love my teaser legs. Two weeks in a row, every teaser's come through. We're going to make it three weeks in a row. I'm coming back. My teasers are back. Tucker's teasers. Back. All right. Cowboys at the Giants. Whoa, whoa, Cowboys whoa. Cowboys laying Slow down and a half. Slow down. I ha We have some agreement here. So you just gave out six teasers because no, you're four. feeling – Four, teams, oh, four teaser so legs. Four teaser legs. The math, the math, mathematical formula, and how many combos? It's four factorial divided by two factorial times two factorial. A lot of ugly math. Doesn't matter. It's six different teasers. I'm going to agree with three of the six. So we have a best bet on the following. I'm taking Pittsburgh, Cincinnati. I'm taking Cincinnati, Miami, and I'm taking Pittsburgh, Miami. Three teaser best bets. The best bet. Love it. That always makes me feel better about them. Thank you, Steve. Um, I love that. All right. Now we can get to Sunday football. Sunday at 1 o'clock. Cowboys at the Giants. We don't know about the starting quarterback for the Giants. Still doesn't sound very promising. Cowboys aren't playing great, and they're laying 10 and a half, Steve. Total 44 and a half. You know, Daniel Jones might play. If Glennon plays, this is – an okay bet, a stretch maybe on the Giants. If Jones plays, it's a great bet on the Giants catching 10 and a half. Who are the Cowboys, Ross, to be laying double digits, two units, Giants? Interesting. Yeah, that number is usually pretty nice, isn't it? To get 10 and a half. Feels like you got to do it. I'm going in on it with you. Giants plus 10 and a half, two units. They're playing at home. They can't be embarrassed at home. Cowboys aren't playing great. I don't know that Daniel Jones will play. He probably won't, but whatever. I think that with getting 10 and a half at home, I'll take that bet. Speaking of 10 and a half, oh, that's the best bet, by the way, Bri. The best bet. What about the Panthers at the Bills? The Panthers are getting 10 and a half on a game with a total that's only 43 and a half. Yeah, just a housekeeping item. Daniel Jones is not going to play. That just came over. Doesn't matter. Still like the, the Giants. Um, it, well, it does matter. I would have liked them more. But I still like the Giants. Um, I'm going to pass the Carolina Buffalo. Too, many, too much uncertainty about Josh Allen walking around in a boot. This line's too low if he's 100%. But he's not 100%. I'll lean Carolina. Yeah, I'm going to go Carolina. I, I don't like that Josh Allen is beat up. I don't like that this is the game after they just played the Bucks. I like any time I can get 10 and a half. Carolina has to bounce back and play better than they did last week. Two units, Carolina getting 10 and a half against the Buffalo Bills. I think the Bills win the game. But I think Carolina keeps it close. Next up, it's the Cardinals at the Lions. The Cardinals are laying 14. The total is 47 and a half. And speaking of picks, Steve, PicksWise is the number one free app for football picks, odds, and analysis. Find expert picks for every game all season long. Loaded with best bets, props, and parlays. You can find in-depth game predictions, giving you the who, how, and why behind every prediction all for free. Found your pick. Search our latest DraftKings promotions to sign up for an account and place your bet. Download the free PicksWise app now to make your next bet better. PicksWise backs responsible gambling. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, what do you got on the Cardinals laying 14 against the Lions? Got to take Detroit here. I can't believe this has gotten to 14, Ross. you got an Arizona team, short week, can't be excited about traveling to Detroit. Hey, there's plenty of NFL teams that look like they got a whole bunch of I quit in them. The Jacksonville Jaguars, the Houston Texans veterans on the team. I've not seen anything from Detroit that shows they're quitting at all. They're just not very good. Motivated, not very good, can cover 14, Ross. Two units, Detroit. I like it. I'm in on it with you. That's a lot of points to give Dan Campbell. And they had their blowout last week. I don't think they're going to have their blowout again this week. And the Cardinals are a little bit beat up. They played that game Monday night. Uh, man, this is going to be the week that I get firmly in the black. 
Detroit plus 14, two units, best bet. The best. The best bet. Titans at the Steelers. We already discussed teasing the Steelers up to eight. Anything else here, Steve? Just that last week, the favorites had an unprecedented week. I think 12 and one straight up, 11 and two against the spread. The sports books got killed. So, what do the sports books do? They do what every bad company does they overreact too late. Should have reacted last week when all these matchups were favorable to the favorites and jacked the point spreads higher. Nope, didn't do it. They're doing it this week. Not a surprise. We're coming in on more underdogs this week. Interesting. All right. What about the Washington football team uh, getting five points against the Eagles? Tough game. You know, the wise guys love the Eagles. All they do is back the Eagles. I don't know if Heineke is going to be able to go. Um, this is one I'm just going to stay on the sidelines. I think it's properly priced. Yeah, there's just a, too much uncertainty here with Hertz coming off of injury and Heineke having the bad knee. I'm going to stay away. I would lean Washington plus the five for sure, but it's not enough for me to actually bet it. Let's get to the Jets and the Dolphins. We already discussed this, teasing the Dolphins from minus eight and a half down to minus two and a half. Totals 42 and a half. Anything else here, Steve, or move on? Just it sure seems like the Miami is the best team with a losing record right now in the NFL. I guess they and the Vikings, um, a team that's playing very good ball. Texans are getting three and a half in Jacksonville with a total of 39. I think the analytics geeks have gotten this game completely wrong. They've evaluated it, and they landed on Jacksonville. Better talent in Jacksonville. Uh, look at the underlying stats year long. Davis Mills, bad quarterback. I don't care. I got one team that some of the older veterans, Houston, don't want to be there. I got another team in Jacksonville where literally, yes, the defense is still playing hard, but everyone hates their head coach, and they want him out of there. That's a dead team walking, and I'm getting three and a half on the team that's playing them. Houston plus three and a half, two units. Totally agree with everything you just said. I had already had that written down. I don't look, this is a toss up game at best. I think Houston's got a great chance to win the game, and you're going to give me three and a half points. I've been on a team where it's like what's going on in Jacksonville, it's bad. They know there's going to be a lot of change. It's not good. Best bet, Houston plus three and a half, two units. The best bet. Now we've got the Bengals at the Broncos. And we already teased the Bengals up to plus eight as one of our teaser legs. I have six of them. You have three of them that are best bets. Anything else here with the total at 43 and a half? Yes. I'm going to play the Bengals plus two for two units. I'm going to pull back the curtain. Last week, I gave out a play on this game to my clients. I said, take Denver plus three. That was the look headline. I know that's what it was because I bet it and gave it to my clients. This game should be pick, Ross. Nothing changed last week. Denver, yeah, they had a good out, uh, good effort. But since he played a capable game against a good San Francisco team, how is this line now flipped five full points? I'm not sure who should be favored. You give me two and the Bengals, they're the superior team. Absolutely, two units. Wow. Okay, so you're putting it on the Bengals too. I'm just teasing them up to plus eight. I'm not betting this game. It would just be a lean Cincinnati for me, obviously. Atlanta's getting nine and a half in San Francisco with a total of 45 and a half, Steve. I'll just lean to Atlanta. You know, it sure feels like this might be the game. San Fran, that was a tough physical war in the Queen City against the Bengals. San Fran's not as good at home where the wine and cheese fans politely clap, clap after the good plays. Uh, I could see Atlanta hanging in. I'll lean Atlanta. Let's get to Packers and the Ravens. The Packers are, oh, by the way, I'm leaning Atlanta as well. 
Packers are laying five against the Ravens. Can't figure anything out on this game, Ross, with so much uncertainty. You tell me who you like. I'm passing. Yeah, I mean, I would just lean Packers. The The Ravens are kind of a mess right now. I, I would lean Packers. I think Rodgers plays. I think they know that they can get home field advantage now. It's a lean to the Packers for me with everything going on with the Ravens. The Seahawks are getting six and a half against the Rams, total of 47. So the Rams, really nice effort last night. Short week, that's what's keeping me off of them. I'll still lean to the Rams. Seattle's gotten a few wins, but, you know, I'm not sure what the locker room is like. Seattle still could get to nine and eight, so they're still obviously playing hard. Um, And normally I would be looking at Seattle as being a quit team that always went to the playoffs and won't this year. I I think it's too early to say that. Um, in terms of the locker room, I think they're still motivated. I pass. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd probably just lean Seattle, getting six and a half against the Rams team that's coming off this win. I don't know when these guys will get off the COVID list that they lost, like Jalen Ramsey. So it's a it's a lean to Seattle getting the six and a half. If we got to seven, seven and a half, it would probably be a play. The total is 47. Speaking of total, by the way, Steve, some people don't realize that you can get and should be able to get everything with the click of a button. Like we do for at DraftKings Sportsbook when we place our bets. Same thing at AutoZone. You can shop your way. What I love about it, you want something right away? Order it online, same day pickup. If you don't feel like leaving your house, like a lot of people don't, Ordered online, autozone.com, boom. You'll get it the next day, next day delivery. Even if you order as late as 10 p.m. They also have over 6,000 stores nationwide ready to help you in a moment's notice. So next time you're starting a job, start it by shopping your way at autozone.com with their free same-day pickup and free next-day delivery. Get in the zone. AutoZone, don't get stranded in Middletown, Ohio. Nice. How about the Saints getting 10 and a half, Steve, against the Bucks? I got nothing on this one, Ross. Tampa does have revenge. Remember when the Saints defense won the first meeting? If anything, if I had to play it, I'd lay it. Really? Wow. Motivated I'm going the other way. That's a lot of points against the Bucs. It just had an overtime game. I don't know. I'm going two-unit Saints getting 10 and a half. I think Taysom, Taysom can get me the backdoor cover, or they can at least hang. They're still battling. They're still in the playoff race. They're still fighting for Sean Payton. He won't let them quit. Saints getting 10 and a half, two units. Lastly, Monday Night Football, it's the Vikings – Laying three and a half at the Chicago Bears, total of 44. Yeah, I'm going to lean Bears just because I get the hook here. They certainly were in the game against the Packers and, you know, the Vikings. That defense is disappointed all year long, almost let them down last week. Lean to Chicago. Same with me. I'm not going to play it, though. I, you know, I think Minnesota is the better team. Minnesota has a lot more to play for in this game. I think they'll play well. I know people say the Kirk Cousins primetime thing, but I don't know. They beat the Steelers last time out in primetime. It's just a lean to Chicago for me. That'll do it, by the way, for our picks. Make sure you follow that man on social media, at Fezzik Sports and only at Fezzik Sports. I'm at Ross Tucker NFL. We are at Ross Tucker Pod. You can always watch this show, youtube.com slash Ross Tucker and I thought I think we're done here. Good luck, everybody. Hope you guys win some money. Thanks for listening to the Even Money Podcast. Make sure to also subscribe to the Ross Tucker Football Podcast, the Fantasy Feast, Business of Sports, and the College Draft. All available at Apple Podcasts, RossTucker.com, or wherever podcasts can be found.